Hello, my name is Susan B. Anthony. Today I'm going to tell you why I believe I deserve to have a place in the Antebellum Hall of Fame. Let me start by telling you a little bit about my life. I was born on February 15, 1820 in Adams, Massachusetts. My father, Daniel, was a farmer when I was younger and later a cotton mill owner and manager. My mother, Lucy, on the other hand, came from a family that fought in the American Revolution and served in the Massachusetts state government. My father was raised as a Quaker, and from a young age I was inspired by the Quaker belief that everyone was equal under God. This sole belief guided me throughout my entire life. In addition, I have seven brothers and sisters, and many of them became activists for justice and emancipation of slaves. And this is what guided me to become a slavery abolition activist. After receiving education from a Quaker school near Philadelphia, I worked as a teacher in Canahory, New York from the years 1846 to 1848. Prior to even becoming a teacher, I was always a women's rights and slavery abolition activist, despite being a prime target of public and newspaper abuse. I also co-founded the American Equal Rights Association, along with my good friend Elizabeth Stanton, in 1866. In 1868, I became editor of the American Equal Rights Association newspaper to spread ideas of equality and rights for women. Fighting for women's rights came at a price. Many people resented the ideas that Stanton and I stood for. In 1872, I was arrested for voting and fined for $100. Although this was a very intimidating experience at the time, it made many people angry and brought national attention to the suffrage movement. In my most recent years, I became president of the National Women's Suffrage Association, and this is one of my most acknowledged achievements. I believe I should be elected into the Antebellum Hall of Fame not only because of my achievements as an activist, but also because of the morals that are associated associated with my name. Everyone is created equal, and I devoted my life to making sure that everyone is treated equal. Throughout my life, I possess numerous amounts of the qualities and skills that many Hall of Famers before me also possess. Skills like the ability to advocate for myself and others, not being a fader criticism and deprecation, and opinions based on moral values, not public opinion, are shown through my accomplishments as an activist. These skills, along with my accomplishments as an activist, is why I deserve to be in the Antebellum Hall of Fame. As I've always said, men, their rights, and nothing more. Women, their rights, and nothing less. Thank you.